Hello, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to all my subscribers, uh, old ones, regulars, new ones, whoever. All right, this is going to be a restoration of this Bedford Carrymore. I think it's called Carrymore. Well, I'm looking underneath a minute. Carrymore. Uh, low loader. Yeah, you can see it's had a bit of a repaint. Uh, the red's been painted over on the cab. This is white, should be silver. Should all be silver. Mudguard should be black. So we're going to do a, a restoration on this. And that huge great lump of string has got to go. Um, yeah, the glass is in pretty good condition. As you see it coming around. There's not really a lot wrong with that. It's in pretty good shape. Just been, it's just tatty. Uh, the mechanism on the top. That needs a little bit of work, so I've got to see if we can get that apart somehow. Uh, I think the cogs in there somewhere are a little bit not quite happy with that. So we'll have a look. Yeah, so this should be an interesting one. Uh, I've got, I'm waiting on the, I think it came today, but I wasn't in, so it's got to be signed for, so I've got to go and pick it up tomorrow. I think it's the claws what go on there. There's a set of sprung jaws what come with this. Um, I've got to do that, get that. Uh, what I have got, what goes with it, we didn't come with it, but I bought it with it. Uh, I bought it with it. I bought it as a separate issue. What I'm going to do as well, not necessarily this time, because it's going to do a bit of work to it. Is this? Is the crane? Let's just pop that on there. Look. I don't know if it will take the weight, but yeah. Let's just give it a bit of hey ho. Yeah, it got that. Yeah, you can buy it as a pack actually, um, as it comes. Well, I'd had this digger a while. Um, it needs a bit of work. It needs the stringing. I've got the tracks for it. It's got the man in. It needs stringing. And there's a piece that well, opens and shuts the bucket. I need to try and... I can't seem to buy one, so I'm going to have to make one. Uh, but there, yeah, it works. So that's that's the plan. We'll do the trailer and that first. And then uh, we'll do the digger uh, next. That's the plan. So, anyway, that's where we are. So we'll get on with it now. We'll get it off here. And then we'll get on with it. So, I'm going to dismantle all this lot. So, and then we'll be back in a second. Right, back. Yep. So, we'll have a closer look at this now. See what we got. See what we got. Right, I've already took the base off this anyway, so have a closer look. I'll let the base go. But this just pulls off there. And what holds it in is a tyre. This here tyre, it goes in there. Pops in there like that. And that's, that's what gives you the uh, connection. Quite clever that, isn't it, really? Simple, but effective. So, yeah, that's okay. Yeah, so we mustn't lose the tyre. Says he, look, it's gone now. Look, where's it gone? Oh, hello. There it is. I won't lose that. Put that over there out of the way. Yeah, standard base. Grey. Bedford tractor unit. Big tractor unit. Corgi toys. Made in Great Britain. There you go. Tyres, all right. We'll get them off in a second. Yep. Well, that's good. Well, they're okay. That's that. Cab unit. As you can see. Bedford. Yeah, that's the red it should be. This red, but somebody give it dark red. There. So this will get the old chemical treatment. That was that. There's the glass. A few scuffs on it, but nothing major. The glass. Now this is the this is the unit. Drilled the rivets out underneath there. This is the unit here. We've got to get our manky old string out, look. And we'll have to clean all this up. It's a bit dirty. Clean all that up. But in there is I don't know if you can see that. Like a, 
a cog. See, it's not turning. Look. So I've got. Oh, it's a little bit. It's a little bit. It's a bit hit and miss. No, yeah, it's not going, is it? There. No. Let's try it with a bit of tension on the string. Yeah, it's going, but not great. So I have to investigate. I'm not sure how. I might have to file them rivets round a little bit. I don't want to force it. I think I did have a screwdriver a minute ago, but let's have a look. I don't want to get that underneath there. I don't want to force it, but I would imagine it will come out. See, there's another rivet there as well. Look, I don't quite know what that one does. So we'll have further investigation on this. There's these two rivets here and that one there. And I would imagine this side it looks like it's quite loose compared to that. The reason I want to take it apart is I want to clean it up uh, and see if it will get it to work better. I mean, I could have left it on and uh, masked it off and sprayed it, but it would be a shame if I couldn't get it to work properly. So we'll have to have a further investigation. When I've got it, get it off and have a look. Let's, let's tie it on. That's not, well, that might be lifted a bit, I don't know. That's not lifting on. This rivet here, what does that do? Quite a fat rivet that as well, isn't it? Not sure where that goes right at the back there. What that holds on. We'll have to have a look. We'll have to have a look at that anyway. So trailer. Trailer. It should be silver. Underneath there, you can read that says on there. Hold on. Gorgie Major. Carry more. Machine carrier, 1104. 1104. Big Beckford. See, they called that the Big Beckford tractor unit because this unit, they use it on the transporter and everything else. So they didn't call it the same as this. So obviously you can swap and change the unit. You know, if you, it doesn't really have to be off this way. If you've, if you've lost the unit and you can got another one from somewhere else, you can just whack it on. But yeah. The other thing is, on here, these, at the moment, are fixed like that, yeah? And there's a little spring clip underneath there, and you should and pull it out, that's it. You pull that out, and then it, they'll leave it to come down. So you sort of, you're like this, then, you? you could just run up. So that, come, that comes out, and then whatever you've got, it can run up. Can, can run up there. Not the low loader. Well, this won't fit, I don't think. I just grabbed it because it was nearby. But yeah. And then let me go with them. And then you slide your unit back underneath. And you're away you go. So that's it. So we're going to be doing this one today. Okay. So we get all the stripping materials needed, get the chemicals. And everything else, get these tyres off and get it naked. All right. Catch you in a minute. Okay. I had a little bit of further investigation on this mechanism. And I've drilled out the big rivet. And it's actually, that was the one that was holding it. I thought maybe these two might have been holding it. But no, it was this one that was holding it. So I drilled that out. And then it comes off off the top. And this is the if you can see if I get that to go and focus, yeah, that's the handle with a screw on it, like screw thread on it. It's a bit wonky. So we'll clean that up. I think the handle wants straightening. Because it's a little bit bent. 
and you can see that it's a bit bent so that's that so we're going to clean that up and the bottom half it's got the drum on it and just basically comes out like that I think the cogs are a little bit let's have a look yeah you see one or two places well, let's get in the focus here. One or two, I'm just sure I saw a bit there. Yeah, a bit there, the tooth a bit bent there. Yeah, a bit worn in places, especially on this top end here. So, yeah. So that would, in fact, go like that. As that turns, that turns that round. So, I'll get this. Horrible piece of string off. Look at that. I get that off. Nice granny knot there. Look. And clean that up. Yeah. So that's where we are. I thought I'd just do that quickly before I, because I want to strip all this as well at the same time. So I might as well give it a go. Strip it all at the same time. Strip it all at the same time. Yeah, I'm, I'm a bit disappondent at the moment, uh, I must admit. I've been, last night I listened to quite a few, watching quite a few YouTube videos, and there seemed to be a lot of aggro at the moment with YouTube, and them being fined, and all this uh, for, not for kids and adults and all that. So I'm not 100% sure what's going to happen. It's To be honest with you, it's took the wind out of my sails a little bit. Um, as a new... YouTuber, well, say new, I mean, as regards making videos, I don't have, I do these on my phone, and I upload them on my phone, and I don't have YouTube Studio, so my phone doesn't tell me what category to put it in or whatever, but what I understand, it's not very good, and there's a lot of people who's going to be, uh, you know, shutting their channels down and stuff, I mean, I know it's early days, I mean, I think January the 1st is when it's all going to start kicking off. But, yeah, I, I must admit, I feel a bit naffed off about it, really. I mean, I don't know where it's going to end. I mean, I've, I've obviously, as it gets near a date, there's going to be a lot more clarity But at the moment. But I'm sure all you guys listen to me know they've heard themselves, so you don't need me to go into all the details and this, because I'm... To be honest with you, it, it was a bit goggly gook to start off with. And I thought, what the fuck are they talking about? You know, this for kids and that for kids. Yeah, I appreciate. I appreciate that you've got to protect the children. Of course you have. You know, that's. it would be stupid not to. But, you know, can't they come up with a better system than that? I mean, finding people, putting things in the wrong category. That's ridiculous. And shutting your channels down if you're unstuck. I don't know. Anyway, I'm not going to rant. I'm not using this video for a rant. I don't do that. It, it It's not me. I'm just here to have fun and enjoy myself. And yes, I'm a bit despondent at the moment, but I'll get over it, as you do. And we're going to have fun building this. Right? We have fun building this. I will say one thing, though, on the subject. I am... Yeah, I all, we all swear, we all curse and cuss and stuff, you know. And I don't want to get in a position where to put my channel and in, in the adult section so I can get comments in there, I've got to start bloody swearing and, and being and, and, that, and I don't want to do that so, you know sod it <laughs> Said it, sod it, but there you go, anyway pack it in, get on with the job, enjoy yourself that's what you're here for sunshine, enjoy yourself right, and all you buggers out there as well, it's all fun let's have some fun let's have some fun Right, look at this, double wheel, axle. I had a job getting tyres off this, actually. <laughs> I thought, hey, I'll get tyres off. Oh, bloody hell, I had a job getting them inner ones off. But I didn't want to... See, there's not... If you look, there's not a lot of meat to mess about cutting them axles down. I don't want to do that. So this is going to go in as is, and I'll work it out later. But, yeah, it's fine. So, that's that. Oh, there's one odd tyre. I noticed when I'm taking the tyres off, there's an odd tyre. So that might go on the back, on the inside, so you can't see it. Rightio, 
I'm going to get the strippers out, like I said before, and we'll get her naked, and then we'll see what we got. Catch you in a minute. Okay, kettle's about to boil. Right next to me here, boiling away. I've got my tractor fan on. I better open, open my door slightly, let some air in, and uh, like we're all stripped in there, ready to go. A couple of things I'm not going to put in there, because I don't trust it, is this. This is very light and thin. I don't want to put that in there and end up melting the bloody thing. And I'm not going to put that in there either. So these two parts I'm not going to put in. I'll strip them by hand. Okay. Right, okay. Here we go. Any minute. Here we go. Any minute now. Right. Water coming in. Here we go. Look at that. Lovely job. There's a lot of parts in here, so I've got to fill this up a bit. And hopefully, we don't have a disaster with this. Okay. Right. Let's have a go. Let me just lift that, ah, lift that up slightly. Let me just put something underneath that end just to lift it up a bit. Excuse me a minute. That's it. There we go. Right. Stand back. Stand back. Right, you see some of that paint coming off already, look. It, it appears that I'm putting a lot in, but I'm not really. Trust me. There you go. And we'll leave that for a little bit, see what happens. Right, that's that then. Oh, I'm going to put some... Give you know, I'll reach over the camera. I need to put this in the rinsing, in the rinsing tin, the rinse tin tin. Oh, that, that could be cooling down. I can rinse the parts off after. Shame them if you wanted to bake a loaf of bread and I've got the tins. I said, well, you're not using them now. So no, I've got a second hand tin. She got some new tins for making cake and stuff like that. So I've nicked her old ones. Yeah, I haven't got a foot long hot dog thing and uh, <laughs> an old uh, Robert Matchbox Gamma I would say. Got my foot long hot dog tube. I've got a couple of old tins. So hopefully we're going away. Right. It's been a couple of minutes. Just have a look. A couple of what's going on here. Let's look at the cab first. Frothy, frothy. Oh, that's come off. Look, look at that. Well, that's come better than I thought it would. Well, that's okay. That's cool. Now, this trailer's big enough, and I can't get my flipping screwdriver on it. Ooh, there you go. Let's lean it on there a second. Let's have a look. Oh, yeah. Well, that's not going to take long, is it? Not going to take long at all. A nice clean screwdriver, anyway. You know, I used to hate chemistry in art school. I could never get my head around chemistry. All these things. You know, I admire people who can. I bloody couldn't. All I wanted was interested in was getting a bunch of burners going and we can have some, have some fun with them. And the amount of times I end up in detention, you know, messing about, not concentrating, you know. H2O, yeah, I've got that one. That's water, I know that one. But, oh, boy, it was so hard. And when you're, like, 14 and 15, who the hell wants to know about that? Couldn't get my head around it at all. So, that's it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're looking good. Right. I'm going to, um, oh, hang on, Woo. I'm going to um, switch off for a second, get these in the rinser, and then we'll clean them up, um, get the wire wheel, wire, get the wire wheel, not the wire wool on it, and uh, we'll come back and should be all shiny like a new pin. Okay, see you in a little while.
after the stripping, this is what we're left with. Nice clean and castings. Not a lot wrong with that. See the old bedford on there. Look. I like this uh, this shape cap. It's really nice. Really nice shape cap. Yep. So we're all clean underneath there. That's all ready to go. Base. All done. Back trolley wheels. All cleaned up. And the trailer. That took some wire, wire, wire brushing, that flipping thing. A long while that did. And the, uh, like I said before, I've got the casing apart. In that one. That'll all go back together. Cleaned up. Cleaned up the spindle. That's all cleaned up. Actually, the, these aren't too bad in there if you look now. Clean them up a bit. And the handle. Well, what I've done with this, because I wanted to clean this clean this up best I can. I mean, it's better. But this was... You can see that, but this... Obviously had to come off to clean it all out. As you can just, I don't know if I can get it close enough, and you'll see there's a little knur a knurled bit of it. It's what they call it, a knurled bit or something. That slides over there anyway. And I've got the pullers on it. I got a set of pullers I used from a double old gauge railway when I restored the trains and it pulls the worm gear off. So I pulled it off, which was great, but then when I pulled it off, it got stuck on a puller because the puller was just a little bit tight in there. So I got the pliers and just tapping it off to release it and the bloody thing flew off and it went on the carpet uh, and in amongst the boxes. Oh, flipping heck. I had a job find it. Took me ages to find this. And you know what? It was wedged just in a corner of a box. Just at the outside. Outside of the box. Just underneath the corner. You barely saw it. I only saw it because I flicked the torch backwards by my hand and I saw it. Or else I'd be still looking for it now. But yeah, there it is. Little bugger. It's in there. So that's it. So we're all ready for priming now. So yeah, we've got the primer here. We've got the red paint. And I've got this. What I'm going to use, instead of using some silver, I found this Arctic Steel. So I'm going to give this a go. Arctic Steel. I like to show me ID, look. No ID, no sale. I said to the girl, do you want to see my ID? And she just looked at me. It just went straight over the top of her head, really did. It went, you know, gone. So, you know, no sense of humour. Right, okay then. We'll get set up at the spray booth and we'll get some primer on. See it a bit. Here we are, red spray. Got the grey. Give it a bit of a spray up now. Got a lot of parts down here. Running out of clamps, they're clamping all together with. Right, what should we start with? Meeny, meeny, miny, mo. Should we start with a cab or should we start with a trailer? Uh, let's get the cab out of the way first. Do the cab first. Here we go. Cab. Right, let's get this beast out of the way. It's a big one.
bit of my hands and that are getting in the way, but this is quite big to try and manoeuvre around in a small space, but I think we've got it. I think we've got it. Right, oh, kiddo, that's that one. Right, the base. Yeah, that one. Now, try the Excuse me, I've got a right tickly cough today. Bloody awful. Am I getting in now? Last bit. What I'm gonna do with this bit, but it was grey anyway, I'm just gonna gloss this. Bit of coat of lacquer. There you go. Oh no, hang on. That's got it. Well I missed a bit then. Right, I think that's uh, yeah, I think that's all of it. Right, we'll get set back on the bench again, and we'll have a look how it's uh, how the grey prime has turned out. All right, see you in a second. Okay, then, all primed up. Still, it's still wet, so I'm not going to hang about messing about with it too much. But yeah, we're all primed up. Come out pretty good. Yeah. So we're good to go with that. It's going to wait now, to dry overnight. That to one side. There's all the smaller parts are in there. Just raise it up a bit. Yeah. See the backdrop's a bit crap on there. Yeah, all the small parts. I use this flower arranging stuff. You know when you go to the flower arranging shop and that, and they give you this. Put your poke your flowers and stuff. Mind well, you, this has seen better days. It's a bit chewed up in there, a bit knackered isn't it, I need to cut it down a little bit, get it back to solid, but yeah, so we're about ready to go, so move this back out of the way, so I don't mess around with it, right, next thing I'm going to show you, so what I've got, come through the post, these are the jaws, and in there you get a, a spring, I'm not going to take it out of the packet. There it is. See a spring at the bottom there. There. And a couple of couple of jaws. And so on. And they're on a spring, so when you clamp something up, you have spread the spring and it clamps around the vehicle or whatever you're pulling up, and then up it goes. 
So that's that. Just going to clean the windscreen up. Let me next. I've got to take this down the house and give it a scrub. And then clean it up. Okay, so that's where we're at at the moment. So I'm going to leave this overnight to dry off. And then I'll take the windscreen down, clean it up, and so on. And then uh, we'll, tomorrow we'll get some uh, top coat on it. Some red and some silver and some black. We're doing tricolour. Black, red and silver. Or steel. Okay, out then. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye for now. Right, after the primer. Primer coat. I went ahead and did a top coat, the red, the silver, and the black. The reason I did that was because I got a really bad, tickly cough, dry cough. I was coughing all the time, and it would have been no good recording. It was cough, 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 all the time. So uh, I put my full respirator mask on and painted this up. Uh, gone ahead and lacquered it, put the tyres on, and uh, did some detail. On the front there, look. with the crown pen, I put the windows back in. You can tell the voice is still a bit croaky. So this is where we are at the moment. It's all been like it's all dried, and uh, this here is the uh, assembly for the jaws. Um, as I said in the last part of the video, this bit flew off when I go find it. Um, so I put that back on. I couldn't do that on camera because I'd go over to the vice and, and mess about putting it on. But I got it on. All you've got to do basically is just, it's got like a pinch area in there. You just put the pliers on and just tap it gently down. Be careful because this is brass. You don't want to bend the threads on it. So just put something over the, just put something over the top there and just tap it down gently. And that's it, that's that. Uh, and what else have we got? Sorry about that. Camera took a, a kamikaze dive there. That's all we need. Yeah, so that's that. I've um, drilled out for the rivets. And I've cut a series of rivets down. You can just see them in the corner there. Cut some rivets down because obviously they won't go right way through because uh, <clears throat> they'll drill through. So we're now going to attempt to put this back together again. So first we do the cab, the glass is in, and just remember the tire. This tire goes in there. That holds the uh, the trailer on. Now we just get this in the right position. Clip on there, like so. I'm going to put some glue in there. Let's get rid of that. Put a bit of super glue or something in there. Hold on a second. Got to change nozzles. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Try this one. See, I've got it. All right. Super glue in that one. Super glue in that one. This one should be a full rivet, so it should be okay. Better get tweezers. Come on, you little bugger. All right. That one. 
try this one at the back. Or at the back. Right. Okay. Just leave that over there for a minute. Ah. Oh. Enjoy that. It's not doing well. The camera's not doing very well today. I'm afraid, chap. Cameraman's at it. Needs to be sacked. It's not, I've got it on a small tripod and it's not gripping the work surface, it keeps tipping over. I've got some blue tack under the legs, but it's not great. Okay, let's try that. Right. It's the back piece. You don't need that for a while. Go over there. You don't need that for a bit. Go over there. This is the kitty we want. Right. This is the bit the cog sits in. Once you're taking it apart, you can always tell which way it goes back because that hole there is for the arm to go through with the worm gear on it. But drop that in there like that. Okay. I've tied the string on because <laughs> it's only me and not. Just Awful. Right, that's that bit. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put a drop of glue just a little bit around the edge here, just to hold it in place. Just a smidge. Oh, this bad boy should it's a bit fiddly I mean like that that's it Click. All right, I've got a rivet to put underneath here. There's a rivet going in there. I think that's a full rivet. So we'll put that in. Get hold of it. There you go. Right. Hold that in there. These two holes here, the other rivets, what go in there. Right. That's my string. I haven't cut the string to proper length yet. Okay, it's quite long. Right, what I'm going to do, we'll just wait for that to dry off for a second. Because we'll have a look at this. These jaws. This little spring. Goes in there. I did have this round. I think it's the right way around. That one goes in there. And this one's got another slot, as you can see. In there. And that should go around. That way. 
and there's resistance when you pull them apart. There's a pin here. I'm not sure this pin just pushes through there. Excuse me, old camera can't do this. Ah, that pin. I don't know if it goes. Yeah, it does. Come right the wrong way, I think. Try it this way. Oops. Looks like this might be it. I think it's come through. That's it. And then these should, as you watch this pop off now. They should grab, there's tension in there, look. I'm debating whether or not to put a tab of glue on there or not. We'll see. We'll see what happens with that. So that's, that's together. Not, uh, yeah, that's together. Right, let's just see now what's happening here. It does, it does turn quite slowly, actually, if you can see. It is turning. You have to warn it quite fast, really, to get it going. Put a drop of oil on there in a bit. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Let's get this on here now then. So this fit on there. I've got a couple of rivets. A bit holes in there. You can see them in there. What I think we're going to do, I'm going to put a drop of glue on these. Just get it in the right place. Do the rivets. Okay. Right. We're about sorted now. Let's have a look at the cab, make sure that's solid, yeah. You know, it's not coming off. 
rolling. Not a bad finish on that. Not bad at all. The black came out all right. So that's all right. I need to cut this. Wait a minute. It's got a bit of a tight spot. I thought I'd saw it down, but I'll just wind up a bit. Where's me, me drip top? Hold on a second. <sighs> okay. that through there. I ain't no boy scout, so my knots ain't great. We're gonna have to do this. It's gonna be more of a granny knot than anything else. Things we do, eh? The things we do. Get in there. Come on. So anybody who knows their knots will be laughing their head off now, won't they? It's one thing I never learned. Knots. Right, we're on, let's trim that off. Oh, trimmed it too close, idiot. What a plank. I told you I was crap at knots, didn't I? Try again. This video is going to be about four hours long. The time I get this sorted out. It really is. Right, come on, boy, get that done. That's the one in there. Two. There you go. Let's trim it again, but this time, not so close, eh? Let's get a better pair of scissors. Done. Right. So 
pour it out some more. So it's all working, look. Yeah. All right. Put that on there. Clicked into place. Now this bad boy. That's it. Let's see if this will go. That's it. We're away. You can put that on there like that if you want. Here she is. All going. All good. All good, boys. All good. Right. Just sit and have a look at that for a second. I suppose you want to see it working, don't you? You would, wouldn't you? Hold on a minute. Right. Pull them out. <laughs> Supposed to pull them out anyway. That's it. I was doing it wrong. Supposed to push it down. Right, that's out. Let's get the jaws. Let's get a bit of slack on it. What should we pull up? What have we got we can pull up? I don't know where to pull that up. It might not be wide enough. I don't know if it pulled this up. I suppose it would do, I suppose. Let's get this way on here first. I don't really want to break this now I'm doing it. Like that. Springs come out. Yeah. Oh no. no that's all right. Thought I lost my little black bit. All right, I'll draw it in there. Take that out. That's in there. Well, this is supposed to be go with this, but to be honest with you, I'm not 100% sure where to hook this on because these don't go particularly wide. They go about there, really, to be honest with you. I don't really know where the best way to hook this on. This would have tracks on it, so I don't know. Where the best place to hook this on? I don't know. I'll have to work it out. Anyway, this is it.
This is it. Got an old citron body here. Let's, here we go. Let's try this. All right, up we go. Yeah, so it does work. Put your finger on it and really hold it down. That's it. The council's come. Took it away. It's going. Right, you're on. Right, and it should flaps up like that. Push in. And we're away. Right, ladies and gentlemen. That is it. I'm sorry it took a long time, that's the last bit, but I'm not 100% with it, but that's it anyway. There she goes. There she blows. There she blows. I hope you all like this one. I did. I enjoyed doing this one. It's a shame I was feeling a bit crap when I was doing it, that was all. But, uh, yeah, it was an interesting, interesting one, especially around here. I've never done nothing like this before. And I thought, when I started taking it apart, I thought, flipping heck, this could be awkward. But no, it's worked out all right. So that's it. That's it. That's it. Okay, right. Hopefully, I'll feel a bit better when I do the next video. So, bye for now. Thanks for watching.